Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 30. And Yahiz Kiyahu sent to all Yashadael and Yahuda, and wrote letters also to Ephraim and Menasheh, that they should come to the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem to keep the Pichach unto Yahweh Elohai of Yashadael. For the king had taken counsel, and his princes, and all the assembly in Yerushalayim, to keep the Pichach in the second month. For they could not keep it at that time, because the priests had not sanctified themselves sufficiently. Neither had the people gathered themselves together to Yerushalayim. And the thing pleased the king in all the assembly. So they established a decree to make proclamation throughout all Yashara'el, from Be'er Shiva even to Dan, that they should come to keep the Pichach unto Yahweh Elohai of Yashara'el at Jerusalem, for they had not done it of a long time in such sort as it was written. So the posts went with the letters from the king and his princes throughout all Yashara'el and Yahuda, and according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Yashara'el, turn again unto El Yahuwah Elohai of Avraham, Yitzhach, and Yashara'el, and he will return to the remnant of you that are escaped out of the hand of the kings of Ashur. And be not ye like your fathers and like your brethren, which transgressed against Yahuwah Elohim of their fathers, who therefore gave them up to desolation, as ye see. Now be ye not stiff-necked as your fathers were, but yield yourselves unto Yahuwah, and enter into his sanctuary, which he has sanctified forever and serveth Yahweh Eloheichem, that the fierceness of his wrath may turn away from you. For if ye turn again unto Yahweh, your brethren and your children shall find compassion before them that lead them captive, so that they should come again into this land. For Yahweh Eloheichem is gracious and merciful, and will not turn away his face from you. If ye return unto him. So the posts passed from city to city through the country of Ephraim and Manasseh, even unto Zebulun. But they laughed them to scorn and mocked them. Nevertheless, diverse of Asher and Manasseh and of Zebulun humbled themselves and came to Yerushalayim. Also in Yahuda, the hand of Elohim was to give them one heart to do the commandment of the king and of the princes by the word of Yahuwah. And there assembled at Yerushalayim much people to keep at the feast of Matzah in the second month, a very great assembly. And they arose and took away eth the altars that were in Yerushalayim. And eth all the altars for incense took they away and cast them into the brook Kidron. Then they killed the Pekach on the fourteenth day of the second month. And the priests and the Leviim were ashamed and sanctified themselves and brought in the burnt offerings into the house of Yahweh. And they stood in their place after their manner, according to the Torah of Moshe, the man of Elohim. The priests sprinkled at the blood which they received of the hand of the Leviim, for there were many in the assembly that were not sanctified. Therefore the Leviim had the charge of the killing of the Pikachim for every one that was not clean to sanctify them unto Yahuwah. For a multitude of the people 
even many of Ephraim and Manasseh, Yishakar, and Zevalin had not cleansed themselves. Yet did they eat at the Pichach, otherwise than it was written. But Yahiz Kiyahu prayed for them, saying, The good Yahuwah, pardon everyone that prepares his heart to seek Elohim, Yahuwah Elohai of his fathers, though he be not clean, cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. And Yahuwah hearkened to Yahiz Kiyahu and healed at the people. And the children of Yashadael that were present at Yerushalayim kept at the feast of Matzah seven days with great gladness. And the Leviim and the priests praised Yahuwah day by day, singing with loud instruments unto Yahuwah. And Yahiz Kiyahu spoke comfortably unto all the Leviim that taught the good knowledge of Yahuwah. And they did eat throughout at the feast seven days, offering peace offerings and making confession to Yahuwah Elohim of their fathers. And the whole assembly took counsel to keep other seven days, and they kept other seven days with gladness. For Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahudah, did give to the assembly a thousand bullocks and seven thousand sheep, and the princes gave to the assembly a thousand bullocks and ten thousand sheep, and a great number of priests sanctified themselves. And all the assembly of Yahudah, with the priests and the Leviim, and all the assembly that came out of Yashadael, and the strangers that came out of the land of Yashadael, and that dwelt in Yahudah, rejoiced. So there was great joy in Yerushalayim, for since the time of Shalomah, the son of David, king of Yashadael, there was not the like in Yerushalayim. Then the priests, the Leviim, arose and blessed at the people. And there voice, rather, and their voice was heard, and their prayer came up to his holy dwelling place, even unto heaven.